Winter sun sucks. Let's do something about it. <sighs> Good morning. Nice crispy morning. This is my Bouge RV 200 watt panel. Shout out to Bouge RV. This is at the front of my house. As you can see, there is no sun, but there is sun happening back there. Now, I've ran this cable under my porch because my wife was complaining about the wire being all over the place and it goes right into this area which is my entertainment zone via this window right here it has this little towel double-sided window closed down don't have any problems with that me being the kind of person that i am i try to think these things through so look what i did this is an mc4 extension but it also has an extension in the middle now this is not that groundbreaking but i put this wire on here for what you'll see a little bit later because i measured this cable out just to be able to reach around my yard. But I had this extra cable around so it could give me a little more length and I'll show you why. But first, I gotta get the freaking wire from under the porch, which this is gonna come in handy because I'll just disconnect this, pull a wire through and reconnect it. Let's get to it. Now this is the back part of my yard, my back porch. This area does get sun. And as you can see, I will put the panel right here on this particular banister and I will be able to get sun from this area back here. Now here's a bit of, of a dilemma <laughs> because now this cable won't be out of the way anymore, which is probably gonna annoy the missus, but it's winter time. They're not gonna be out here playing as much. So I think I'll be okay. I also forgot to mention that this extra little bit of cable, this also allows me to put this panel right here as the sun does this thing right here. Now, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not used to this right here. The sun is really low on the horizon and it's behind this tree. That is not typical. Now, this is the original length of this cable. You can see that it'll go right here just fine. But let me show you how much cable is left. That's it. That's all the cushion I got. So with the extension, I could actually pull this out a little further without this being super tight. That's why I added that piece. Plus it was extra, it was laying around. And what I used to do last winter, I would grab this one and lay this one up against here to catch some of this winter sun. And then I would have a panel right here. And sometimes I would have both panels, but let's get back to it. Now I'm a stickler <laughs> for having my, uh, my wires be kind of not all tangled up. So I stretch my cables out and I make sure that they are not crisscrossed over each other. I'm not a fan of that. Bang my line. So we got one twist in it, which I can live with. Ain't my line, that's connected up. So now I have all this extra wire to put this panel right here. And then the coup de gras is up here, which is a little bit of work. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's not hard either. Just try and kind of take some of the slack and put it in here. So the wire's not hanging and pulling on the joint, which shouldn't be a problem. So these are my panels that live here the whole time. I've never had a panel fall off of these banisters ever. When it gets crazy and windy, I just pull them down. Now I have had a panel fall from up here, which <laughs> Wayne is not going to really be a fan of, but I, it has, it has fallen down only like once. I don't even know that it was because it was up here. It was some craziness, but I do like putting a panel up here because as you can see, I'm getting a little sun right here and I'm getting a little sun on these, so that's fine. But the angle of this would be better if it was right here. This panel can easily be put down here like I showed you. And then when my sun goes over here, because that's where it's gonna end up, it starts off over here in this area, ends up up here, and then I start to get shade on this whole area. And sometime in the middle of the day, I just grab this and bring it out to the front so it could profit from the front sun where I pulled it from. Now, as I said, this Renergy 320 is one that I had last winter that I will prop up around here. If you're interested in seeing how I came about getting that one, it was a vlog that I shot, cool, fun video. Check it out right here. All right, so I'll follow.